So we've designed an iPad app that takes the user friendliness of something like Skype or FaceTime uh, and have inserted really high quality audio. And we've done that because here at the School of Music, we want our students to have access to world-class artists. And if you use something like Skype or FaceTime, the quality of the audio going over the internet doesn't give the person on the other end um, an overly accurate picture of your actual sound. So we've been able to override that and now send pristine audio over the internet so that anyone that can listen to our students can then give them critical feedback. I moved here to St. John's five years ago and you know I've, I've moved around and traveled a bit and I've always had this chance to collaborate with really great artists and musicians and because of the geographical isolation we have here at MUN it's not always feasible whether you're talking weather or finances so by developing this app we can literally with a click of a button connect with any guest artist in the world that has an iPad. So right now uh, we have a uh, an application that runs on the iPad, but uh, we later we want to uh, port it to multiple platforms so that people using other kinds of uh, mobile devices will be able to benefit from this project. That's one. And uh, now that the technology is here, we have a um, a a, uh, a prototype running. Uh, we want to also utilize the technology, for example, for uh, synchronized recording. Uh, for teaching, conducting, or any kind of performance, uh, so that, for example, one side can roll back to an earlier moment of the uh, recording and uh, reproduce uh, that part. Uh, and we can also actually archive to record the progress or improvements of performance of the students. So, and actually, I can do a lot more than uh, just uh, physically having the conductor uh, on site. The idea of delay over the internet is something that's still, it's not going to go away anytime soon. So that's why ours is still, it's a one directional. Um, we'll work with a conductor away. The band will play something. The person will hear it and give us physical or audio feedback. But they're not going to be able to actually physically conduct us over the internet because of for the time travel. So that's one. And then we did have some more uh, technical yeah. issues. So nowadays, uh, computer networks are really well managed in the sense that they are very protected. University networks, uh, they would hide any device that's that's not supposed to be seen by outside uh, the outside world. And uh, our app, uh, which runs on any uh, mobile devices, uh, they are part of the protected uh, network. Uh, one of the biggest challenges is for us to hide how we uh, we can connect to devices running on separate networks without uh, the user seeing them or having to configure them. That's that would be a big turnoff for them. I think the big thing is is the the whole global market, global economy, and things like that. We're on this island, but that should not disadvantage us because we're here. We want to be able to connect with anyone over any kind of medium. Um, whether we're here talking in school of music or engineering or business, with a click of a button, we want to be able to talk to someone and have it come across in high quality audio so we can make the best connection possible and not have the, the technology get in the way.